Hey guys, after reading the comments on my video playing this song, there were several comments requesting for a tutorial and I've finally gotten around to making one. This really is quite an easy song to learn. To start us off, on the right hand we have just four chords which are repeated for most of the song. The first one is a D5 chord. This is played on D, A and D. The second chord is A5 on A, E, A. Then G5, played with G, D, G. And finally, an F5 chord, played on F, C, F. And that is just repeated for most of the song. The left hand to that is slightly trickier, but not very hard either. It is just four different notes played on two octaves. The notes are D, A, G, and F. Each note of the octave is played separately going from one to the other. This sounds like this. Changing notes, ensure that you lead with your thumb and not your pinky finger as this will not sound right with the right hand. Put both hands together and it sounds like this. Notice that I am leading with my thumb on every note change in the left hand. That's it. You have now learnt the main melody for Mr. Fi. At the end of the song, at the start of the song, this is played four times before you going before going into the chorus. The chorus is easy. It is simply three chords repeated twice. The chords are A major, C major, and G major. This is paired with the same note as an octave in the left hand. After playing through the chorus twice, you then lead back into the verse, which is the exact same as before. After playing the main melody and rather four times, you then go into the chorus again, which has a slight change from the first. In the left hand, the octave is just played twice for each chord. This sounds like this. Once you've played through the chorus a second time with a slight adjustment, you then go into the bridge. In my first video, I made a simpler, more refined version of the actual song. This is what I'll be teaching you today. The bridge only uses two chords. The first one is E minor, and the second chord is G minor. But instead of playing the D at the top, you play it one octave lower. This sounds like this. hand in the bridge is just two octaves played in the time with the right hand. These octaves are E and G.
If you want to sound a little different, you can play the left hand offbeat to the right hand. That sounds like this. This is purely optional and is not essential for the song. After the bridge, you play the main melody through another four times before going into the last chorus. This one is played like the second adjusted chorus, but instead of playing it twice through, you play it four times through. On the fourth one through, you finish the song. This sounds like this. Once you have mastered all those elements of the song, you can finally ready to play it together. In the actual recording of the song by In Excess, they do not use a sustain pedal throughout the song, but personally I think it makes it sound a bit better. This is how the whole song sounds together.